For today's Surprise Monday, I'm going to be opening up 36 loose packs of Aquapolis. So I picked these up from an, an Amazon seller, one of the few things that I've uh, purchased off of Amazon, or as far as this booster opening goes, and one of the, I've, I don't think I've actually picked up many loose packs at all off of Amazon. Uh, I picked up a few other boxes, which I'll announce later on as I get to them, but like I said, I believe this is the first loose pack. So this is a pretty awesome set. Um, it's another e-reader set, you can tell by the big e right there. And it's one of the, it's, uh, well, one of two sets that has crystal cards in them. And crystal cards are pretty rare. So if we pull any of them, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll kind of go over them more there. But there's three in this set. Uh, Kingdra, Lugia, and what was the third? Um, Nidoking. That's it, Nidoking. Uh, Sky Ridge is a set that has the crystal Charizard and um, has them in reverse and regular. But this one just had regular crystals. So... I've got a deck, or not deck, a, uh, a set list up beside me, because a lot of the trainers and supporters in here are things I'm probably not going to be recognizing. And let's go ahead and let's zoom in a little bit so we can get a closer uh, view of the cards and get started. So I'm going to take a sneak peek here real quick just to see what the order is. And it looks like it's one, two, one, two. We have Paris, Wooper, Miltank, Houndor, Sentry, Fire Cube One, and Seeking. And I don't know why I realized, I, for some reason I thought I was opening up a Japanese set, I think, when I was looking up the deck list and, and all the different trainers and supporters that I wouldn't be familiar with. So, um, complete mind blank on that one. My Reverse. Nice boost energy. And my rare is a Nidoking. King. Not a crystal, just a regular non-hollow. Uh, this set, I really like this set. L lots of amazing artwork. It's a huge set, very difficult to complete. And I'm really looking forward to be able to knock out a lot of this set and gem mint it. So this is Drowsy. There's actually two forms of Drowsy. So this is Drowsy A. I think that's A. Yeah, Drowsy A. Uh, there's A and B versions because different ones, you, these are the e-reader series where you scan them into the e-reader and you get uh, stuff on your Game Boy. So that's why I think A and B had different stuff. Really cool looking Sneasel. Slowpoke, Mareep, Hitmontop, Seer, and Pokemon Fan Club. I feel like that in reverse is, was one of the harder cards to find when I was complete, completing this set. And my reverse... Ellie Kid, a rare, really nice. And my rare is a Victory Bell. So, let's see, not too impressive pulls. Whoops. Uh, trying to keep a lot of these packs in nice condition just because I know people. Uh, there are people like myself that um, I try and collect one of each pack, pack wrapper. And so if there's other people like there, they may be interested. A palm getting an apple with his tail. Smeargle. Remoraid. Cubone. Onyx. Grass Cube 1. And Memory Berry. My reverse is an Execute. And my rare is a Quagsire, which... Uh, pretty cool looking quagsire he's like swimming in a um oh i don't know what they're called uh uh they're the little things that you float the gondolas down they have like river walks and stuff like that like maybe yeah something with a river attached to a river, river walk either way it's a pretty cool little card so we've got another Drowsy. This is uh, another Drowsy A. Hitmontop, Cubone, Smeargle. Did I mess that up? Because uh, that's a Crystal Kingdra. Wow. So of, well, I guess, yeah, Lugia is probably cooler than Kingdra, but I think Kingdra is cooler than Nidoking. So there's a surprise Crystal. I hate that I messed up the order on a crystal card, but wow. 
beautiful card. I'm going to set this right over here in the corner, just where it can be by itself on the mat. Time Shard and Warp Energy. My reverse is Blossom, which is another rare, I think. Yeah. And my, what I thought was my rare, but obviously would not be my rare because that's my Kingdra. No, it is still a rare. Entei. So, crystal cards come in the place of, like, a common or uncommon. I didn't mess that up. That's actually really cool. Gives you an extra chance of... I mean, you still get your rare and reverse, and gives you an extra chance of pulling a, an awesome card. So, that's awesome. Right off the bat, we've got a crystal card. So, Porygon is another card that has an A and B version. This is version B. Execute. Yeah, I didn't think ex Execute had an A and B. Voltorb. Doduo. Uh, Togetic Hollow. So, Hollows are taking the place, let's see, um, the, the, maybe fourth, the third card down? Huh. Okay, so, I'm going to need to figure out this pattern. Uh, another cool thing about this set is that the hollows aren't just uh, like number one through whatever. They're actually, they've got their own like mini set kind of. It's H, um, let's see, there's 32 hollows, so this is H27. Really cool. So there's not a hollow in every pack, but it does, you still get your rare. Energy switch, Cedra. Yeah, that's uncommon. My reverse is Pokemon Park. Really cool. I feel like that was a hard one to find when I was collecting, too. And my rare? Oh, Houndoom. Really cool. So, what I may do on this next pack is take a sneak peek to see if I pull a hollow, and if I do, figure out exactly where it is in the pack. So I'll do what I do with the Japanese packs, and have a... Why do I keep doing that? Um, a wild card where, you know, it could be a hollow, it could just be an uncommon. So, okay, does look like, we. D I'll just give a little spoiler. We do have a hollow, so it's one, two, and then one, two, three, where the middle card is the reverse, top card is the rare, and the bottom card is going to be the hollow. Magnemite, Chansey, Mareep, whoops, it's another Sneasel. Psychic Cube 1 and Magnemite. So, let's spread these out. My Reverse. Oh, Tyranitar, a rare. Awesome looking Tyranitar, too, with the thunder coming down and the ruins around them. This is my rare. A Togetic. So, same thing. Um, they, I think they had the, the hollow and non-hollow versions of the cards. So, you uh, had the option of... Um, not swiping your hollow ones and getting them all messed up. Pretty smart idea. And my hollow is Arcanine. I should start calling it the wild card. So very nice. So we're already getting excellent pulls from this set. Two hollows, uh, a few n uh, reverse rares, and a crystal. So I think it's safe to say that uh, these packs were not weighed. So possible hollow, rare, or reverse and rare. Chansey, Mareep, Sneasel, Slowpoke, Tyro. That is a, a beastie Tyrogue. And Town Volunteers. That's kind of cool. It's a. Well, it's like a flower shop, but not as good. It's only five, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, that's my hollow, possible hollow. My reverse is Octillery. This is a rare, too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Another rare reverse. Awesome, which this is another cool card with the background and the room and the uh, almost looks like Greek ruins. My rare is a lantern. So far, we're doing really well on uh, not pulling duplicates. And my wild card, jump love hollow, excellent, really cool. So I love packs like this that. Um, you know, it's, you, you still, okay, these are just tearing like that. Uh, you still have like a, you know, a, a chance of not pulling a hollow, 
but if you do, you still get a non-holo rare. And with a set that's this big, that's, that's really good. Because I think, um, yeah, I think there's a, the holo equivalent of every non-holo rare, which means that there's 32 rares in this set to complete, along with um, the, the 32 hollows. And then, of course, you have the three crystals. Oddish? Goldeen? Oh, that's a cool Eevee. Vulpix? And we're just looking at the acorn-looking thing there. Or actually, I think they're apricorns. Meryl and Talon Volunteers. My reverse is a Chansey. My rare is a Victory Bell, so first duplicate. We'll set that right there. And my wild card. Oh, Suicune Hollow. Awesome. It's Pokebody is really interesting. You t to attach a water energy, you have to discard another energy. It's actually really uh, not good. <laughs> but still, a cool looking card. And that's typically what they do with a lot of the legendary cards. Is uh, They make them so they're not very playable. Better for collectors. Spinarak. Ponytail. That's a cool looking ponytail. Horsey, who's sleeping on a shoulder who looks very upset. Drowsy version B. Crystal energy, nice. And a Golduck. Oh, Golduck has two forms too. Yeah, this is Golduck version B. My reverse. Entei rare. Wow, these are amazing pulls. My rare. Oh, and a Steelix. Steelix is one of those Pokemon that um, always just looks awesome. And my wild card? A Sudowoodo Hollow. So I just kind of got, I guess, um, weird luck in the first three, was it first three packs, I think, that I didn't pull a, a Hollow. And now the Hollows are coming in every pack. Plus the Crystal. Paris, Houndor, cool looking Houndor, Hopip, Vulpix, Flaffy, and Energy Switch. My reverse is, did I already pull it Execute? I don't remember, but we'll just put him in that stack anyways. My rare is a Slowbro, which is actually kind of a cool looking Slowbro. I will give him that. Um, and its Pokebody is really cool. Um, everything's reduced by 20. And my wild card, <gasps> Scizor Hollow. Oh, we're just, these are awesome packs. Just keep pulling the awesome cards. Chinchow, Bellsprout, well, with all the apricorns, Togepi, Scyther, nice. Skiploom and Lightning Cube 1. My reverse is an Oddish singing to the moon. And my rare, another Houndoom. This one has different artwork though. Oh, I love all the Houndooms. And my uh, wild card is a Kangaskhan. So hey, first um, in a card in a while that's in the the hollow position, that's not a hollow. It was bound to happen at some point. We just hit, what, six hollows in a row? So it was about time to, to hit a, a common. Togepi, Horsey, Bellsprout, Porygon B, Super Energy Removal 2, and a Gloom, and I'm probably going to go kind of slow throughout these packs because the set is so huge that even the commons and uncommons, um, a lot of them probably many of you haven't seen before, and they're all awesome looking cards. My Reverse is a Fighting Cube 1. My Rare is a Ninetales. Nice! And my Wild Card is an Execute.
Yeah, I like calling it the wild card. Scyther, Lickitung, Togepi, Horsey, Fighting Cube 1, and a Growlithe. My reverse, Espeon! Obviously that's a rare, although I can't see the little rares. Yeah, there's a little star. Nice, what is going on in the corner? It's like a little fountain or something. Really weird looking, but still cool. My rare is a Blossom. I don't think I've pulled a Blossom yet, have I? No, no, I don't think I did. And my uh, wild card is a Bell Sprout. So even in packs where I'm getting, you know, a common rather than a hollow as my wild card, I'm still pulling great things like that Espeon Reverse. Remoraid, Apom, oh, that's kind of a cool manky. Hitmonchan, Pupitar, and Time Shard. My Reverse is a Dodrio. My Rare, ooh, Magneton, cool looking uh, metal Magneton. And my wild card is Growlithe. Hitmonchan, Growlithe, Chinchow, Tangela, Team Volunteers, and Seeking. My reverse is another Dodrio. That's so weird to hit them back to back. My rare is a Togetic. And I know I pulled this in the hollow version, but did I pull this in the non-hollow? I think I did. Yep, I see it. And my, if I can pick it up, my wild card is just a tentacle. Maybe halfway through the video, I think. Maybe a little over half. But I already have the Crystal Kingdra. Wooper, Miltank, Houndor, Sentret, Marowak, and Seer. My reverse is a Grass Cube one. My rare is a Kingdra. Very nice. And my wild card is a Porygon A. So, not bad. Yeah, I'm thinking the normal crystal pull for a box is probably one, maybe two. Um, I, since there's only three in the set, I'm thinking that there's the ratio is not going to be very high, so pulling the one I'm pretty excited with. Remoraid, Apom, Mankey, Hitmonchan, that has a cool spinner rack coming out of the playroom or something. And boost energy. My reverse is a Quagsire, which that's a rare, isn't it? Yeah, because I was talking about it earlier. Um, how cool it was going through the little water alley thing. My rare. Ooh, rainbow energy. Don't have that one yet, or I haven't pulled that one yet from this opening. And my wild card. Tentacruel Hollow. So it's been a while since we've seen a Hollow, so it's about time for one more to show up. Very nice. Hmm. These packs are so old, I think they're almost starting to disintegrate. Oops. Missed the rare there. Porygon uh, A, Houndor, Wooper, Spinarak, Town Volunteers, and yeah, Smoochum. That is just an uncommon. First uh, Smoochum from the packs. My reverse. Uh, I think, wasn't that my first reverse? I think a boost energy, but still cool. My rare Hypno. Nice. 
Just the artwork on in this series is so cool. And my wild card is a ponytail. Oops. Didn't mean to grab two packs there. Three. Oddish. Golding. Eevee. Vulpix. Weakness Guard, which is really cool with the Charmander and the Bubble. And Healing Berry. My reverse is a Seedra. Very cool. My rare is an Octillery. So that's the, I believe, a duplicate Octillery. And my wild card is a Hoppip. Yes, it's still kind of weird to have a wild card, uh, you know, in. I'm either going to get a really cool holo or a common. <laughs> Smeargle, Remoraid, Cubone, Onyx, Magnemite, Fire Cube 1. My reverse is Darkness Cube 1. My rare? Hey, Pseudo Wudo. Um, I feel like I pulled, I pulled the hollow Pseudo Wudo. That's what it was. I haven't pulled the non hollow rare yet. And my wild card? <gasps> Hypno Hollow. Very cool. Really nice looking card, too. Remoraid, Cubone, Onyx, Growlithe, Pokemon Fan Club, Nidorino. My reverse is a Houndoom. Excellent. That's a rare. My rare is Executor, uh, making crop circles. <laughs> and my wild card is a Tentacool. So let me clean up this stack real quick so I don't have anything falling over. So we still have a, we still have a good number of packs left. I think I'm just going a little slower with this opening. Tangela, Tentacool, Horsey, Lickitung, that's the first Lickitung, Flaffy, and Boost Energy. My reverse is Fighting Cube 1. My rare is a Muck. Muck in the sewers, you can see all the pipes, and he's actually kind of a sad looking Muck there. And my wild card, Executor Hollow, excellent. Very cool looking, and this is different than the other Executor that was making uh, Crop Circles, the non-hollow rare. So either I'm wrong about them be there being an equivalent hollow or, or non-hollow rare for every hollow, or there's a lot more. I mean, I guess 32 different ones. I just haven't seen a lot of them so far. Scyther, Kangaskhan, Voltorb, Porygon B version, Metal Cube 1, Magnemite. My reverse is Ampharos, which that's a rare. I don't think I pulled that in a hollow or non-hollow version yet. My rare is another Octillery. And my wild card is a Nidoran female, which I think is the first female Nidoran. Very cute with the little rainbow in the background. Voltorb, Kangaskhan, Nidoran female. Paris, Magnemite, and Juggler. That's the first Juggler. My reverse is a Meryl. Very cute little Meryl sitting on top of a... I don't know what it is, but sitting beside a leaf. There's just a random leaf there. My... If I can pick it up. My rare is Ente. Nice. Uh, what I, I pulled this in the reverse, I think. But I don't have it in non hollow rare yet. And my wild card? And Pharaoh's hollow. Nice. Very cool. Just pulled that in reverse not that long ago. So there it's popping up with its rare form. So it is kind of funny. Some of the, like, uh, like Hypno I'm looking at right now. I've, I've pulled the Hypno hollow, the Hypno non hollow rare, 
and I know there's a hypno reverse out there, so that's three different hypnos that um, a collector has to track down. But for a player, that means that's three different hypnos if they wanted to play with it, that uh, they'd have a greater chance of getting a hold of. Houndor, Centric, Porygon A, Horsey, Nidorino, and Lightning Cube. I don't know if, I, if I've pulled a Lightning Cube yet. My reverse, it... <laughs> Wow, I was just saying, uh, giving the example uh, of, of the Hypno. So here is the Hypno Reverse, as I drop it, but luckily dropped it on its back, so it's still nice and safe. Here is the Hypno Rare. And here is the Hypno Hollow. So go figure. Maybe I should start saying that with crystal cards. And my Rare is a special metal. And my wild card is a Psyduck. A very happy Psyduck swinging on a swing. Chansey. Whoa, that's a cool Grimer. First Grimer, too. That's a different Magnemite than we've had so far. Execute, Fire Cube 1, and Seeking. My Reverse is a special dark, another rare. Pull like 10 rare reverses. My rare is Executor. I believe I've pulled that one with the crop circles. And my wild card is Drowsy version A. So just a common there. And we're getting close to the end. I think under 10 packs left or so. Cubone, Smeargle, Pinsir, that's the first Pinsir, Onyx, Bellsprout, and Forest Guardian, which I always thought Forest Guardian was pretty cool with the Noctowl right there. My Reverse, oh, Scizor, another rare, and another cool rare. My Rare is another Houndoom, whoops, let's push this forward, and my Wild Card, Kingdra Hollow. Do I already... I've pulled this in the non-hollow, I think. I don't think I've pulled this in the hollow yet. Um, I think I was just getting it slightly confused there because I pulled the Crystal Kingdra and the non-hollow Kingdra. And I know I pulled a Reverse Seedra. <laughs> but very nice. Chinchow. Another Chinchow. Hey, that's the first Mr. Mime. This is another AB card, I believe. Yep, that's version B. Hoppip, Memory Berry, and Spinarak. My reverse is Drowsy version A. Very nice. My rare is another Mock. And my wild card is a Crystal Nidoking. Oh, beautiful card. So uh, I really didn't go over it very well with the Kingdra. Crystal types, um, yeah, whenever you attach a grass, lightning, or fire basic energy from your hand to Nidoking, Nidoking's type, uh, parentheses color, becomes the same as an energy card type until the end of your turn. So that's a great way to take advantage of your opponent's um, weakness. Uh, the attacks, I remember, aren't really that good, but it's um, a manipulation of the, the crystal energy, uh, I believe, and there's, yeah, crystal energy is meant to work with that as well, that's uh, meant to abuse that. So I don't really think the, the crystal cards ever took off play-wise, but it was still a pretty cool concept. I'm just pretty stoked that uh, two crystal pulls. And what that means is that those two, uh, since they are nice and mint, will be going into my collection. And the ones that I have in my collection will be up for sale or trade. Um, sales are getting priorities right now because, uh, yeah, just earning money back to help pay for all this stuff. But, yeah. Porygon version B. Execute. Oh, I just realized that Execute also has the crop circles in the background like Executor. Voltorb. Doduo. That may be the first Doduo. And I think that's the first version of that Scyther. I knew we had the other Scyther. And Metal Cube 1. My reverse 
is power plant. I don't know if I've pulled a regular power plant yet. My rare is another magneton. Pretty sure I pulled that one. Yep, actually I see it right there. My wild card is a Kangaskhan. I remember um, there was, whoops, throwing the commons now. Um, there was another wild card that was a Kangaskhan as well. So kind of a cool little thing considering how many commons are actually in this set. We've got a Paris, Houndor, Hoppip, Vulpix, Magnemite, Juggler. My reverse is a Horsey, which is kind of cool because I have the Horsey and the Seedra in reverse now. My rare is Blossom, and do I have this Blossom? Feels like I pulled this in the hollow, or I don't know. I'll just stick him over here. And my wild card, <gasps> Nidoking Hollow. Nice. Very cool. Pulling some great cards from these packs. So, um, I am definitely happy. The My biggest fear with, with this big opening was that my loose packs were all going to be weighed and I was going to have terrible pulls. And really, I've only had one set that uh, was really terrible. Ponyta, Mr. Mime version A, Spinarak, Drowsy version B. Ooh, Skiploom. I don't remember if I've seen one of those yet. Lightning Cube 1. My reverse is a Seer. Very cool. My rare, I don't think I pulled that Lantern yet. So that's actually really cool. And my uh, wild card is a Fan Fee, which I don't know if I've pulled that Fan Fee yet. Like I said, this set is so huge. Um, what is it, like 147 cards plus the... Uh, yeah, the, the crystals aren't included in that 147 count, so 150 cards for the set. And then you have um, all the reverses. Um, luckily, I think you just... Oh, no, there's even more. You have 147 of the main set, 32 of the hollow set, and then 3 of the crystal set. And then you have an additional 147 reverses. So this and Sky Ridge were some of the hardest sets to complete. Psyduck, Eevee, Oddish, Fanfi. Boost Energy, and a Meryl. Straighten that up. My reverse. Oh, Suicune. Pull the Hollow and the Reverse Hollow. That is really awesome. My rare is a Special Dark. Uh, I believe I've already pulled that one, but I'll go ahead and stick it in that pile anyways. And my wild card is a Goldeen. So it looks like we've got four packs left. Mareep, Chansey, Magnemite, Drowsy A, Fire Cube, Weepin' Bell. I think that's the first Weepin' Bell. My Reverse, Scyther. Excellent. Everyone loves Scyther. My Wild Card, I'm uh, not sorry, Wild Card. My Rare is Tyranitar. Really cool. Don't have that one yet. And now this is my Wild Card. Tentacruel Hollow. Already have it, but that's so cool to have another Hollow. Down to the last three packs Chansey, Magnemite, Drowsy Version A, Slowpoke, Nidorino, and Water Cube. I don't know if I've seen Water Cube yet. My reverse is a Chansey, which I think I've already pulled. My rare is a Vile Plume. I don't think I've pulled that one yet. And my wild card? Umbreon Hollow. Really? Um, is it this Umbreon or the, uh, was it Umbreon in Sky Ridge? I think it was like a $15, $20 card. Something crazy expensive. And sorry for the background noise right there. So that someone's running the ice machine. But wow. That is, either way, um, I feel like that's probably a fairly expensive card, and yeah, really looking forward to um, having one of those for trade, or sale. 
Drowsy version A, Sneasel, Slowpoke, Mareep, Traveling Salesman, and Water Cube, another Water Cube. My reverse, hey, Mr. Mime, this is version A. My rare is another Nitto King. And my wild card, if I can pick it up, is a Hitmontop. So usually a good sign when I can't pick up a uh, wild card is that it's an, it's not a, not a hollow. Just because the hollows do have a slight curve, which makes them a little easier to pick up. So here we are with the last pack. So I've already pulled two crystals, some epic hollows, tons of rare reverses. So really the only thing I asked for in this pack is something different. Paris, Wooper, Miltank, Houndor, Dodrio, Grass Cube. My reverse. Ooh, excellent, a Houndor. Love those dog Pokemon. My rare. Hey, an Ariados. I actually don't have that yet. So that is something different. And my wild card is a Sentry. So really, really awesome opening. Um, best part, two crystals. Uh, the Kingdra and the Nido King. Would have been cool to have Lugia as well, but uh, yeah, it's already at le in my collection at least. So let's get this thing sorted up and uh, show you what the set looks like. So here is my complete Aquapolis set. And I'm going to show both halves of the page because everything that has a sleeve is something that I pulled from the, uh, the box or the loose packs. Um, I've got this backwards. I've actually got the reverses showing first, but that's okay because that saves the crystals for very last. So... Uh, the reverse holo set is just 1 through 147, so we don't have reverses of the hollows as well because they're the exact same card. So a few there. Pulled lots of good rare reverses, so really excited about that. Now we're getting into... actually no, we're still in the rares. Um, yeah, there's a lot of rares in here. So now we're starting with the uncommons. So, as you can see, they're, because the set is so big, there's just a few per page. Not very many. And I'll go back through one day and make sure to determine what everything is uh, near mint mint and if anything needs to be replaced. Lots of trainers and supporters and special energy. And now on to the actual set. So here is the hollow set, which is H1 through H32. And again, I'll show the both pages so you can see the, the cards that I pulled that are in sleeves. So a lot from that page, a lot from there as well, and then just one from there. So here's the rest of the set. So this is starting with number one, and not these are all non-hollow, uh, non-hollow rares. And so I don't it didn't even come close, even though um, it, although that page is really nice to getting a complete non-hollow rare set. Um, but yeah, with with a set this big, that's to be expected. And now we're into the uncommons. Uh, I was able to pull most of the uncommons. Um, I'm missing one of the, the gold ducks, I think gold duck A. Missing Furret. Was I missing anything on this page? No. Uh, the bell sprout was just the only one on this page. Uh, let's see, am I missing... Actually, no, I have that page complete. Missing a Voltorb. And missing a Wooper. And I feel like I'm missing one common as well. But was able to get most of them. Yeah, there's missing um, a Larvitar, or not missing, missing, but you know, wasn't able to pull it from the packs. And then uh, Apricorn Forest is actually a rare. I didn't pull that one. I did not pull a Darkness Cube. And I think there was. Yeah, I didn't pull Pokemon Park either. But I think I had everything else. No, I didn't, actually. Uh, missing a few more. Undersea Ruins and Power Plant. I didn't pull those. And then everything on this page is complete. And so we'll show the crystals one more time. So here's what all three crystals look like. Kingdra, Lugia, and Nidoking. King. So I do have a spare Kingdra and Nidoking King available now. I believe the Kingdra is near Mint Mint, um, my other one. Nidoking King is, I think, uh, excellent to near Mint. I'd probably rate it at, uh, at an 8. Um... And if anyone wants more details on that, I can definitely let you know. And then, of course, no extra on the Lugia because I didn't pull that one. So that one will stay just right there. 
And now let's check out the extras that I have available for trade or sale. So the Aquapolis section of my trade binder is now really nice. So I've got uh, well over a page of hollows, including Umbreon, really awesome hollow. And there's the other uh, almost full page there. Non-hollow rare. I think I had the camera tilted, so let's tilt it back. More non-hollow rares. And the rest of them there. Then these are all rare reverses. I actually I pulled a Suicune, and then I realized I had another Suicune in there as well. There's the rest of the rare revs. And then here we go with common and uncommon revs. And if you want to know what version of Mr. Mime or Drowsy those are, uh, PM me. Uh, the trainer and supporter revs, and that's actually it. So, pretty awesome. I'm really happy with these pulls. Two crystal cards, and tons of amazing hollows, rares, and reverses. So, like I said, if you're interested in anything, uh, send, a, send me a PM, which is the best way. Send me an email, thecatsmeowth at gmail.com. So, put a comment at the bottom with uh, if you'd like to buy and what you're offering for it, or if you'd like to trade. And if you'd like to trade, what do you have for my once list? Once list is on my website, thecatsmeowth.com. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for tomorrow, which will be another uh, Wizards of the Coast box. So today is, it is a surprise Monday doing a Wizards of the Coast series, rather than um, a Japanese series like I've been doing, but that's what surprises are for. So stay tuned for tomorrow's Wizards of the Coast Tuesday.